But let's talk issues on energy now because more than 24 hours after workers of Great Co gave a December 4 ultimatum for all areas to be paid, the Ministry of Energy says it has no comment on the situation. Great Co in a news conference noted that state-owned ECG, Great Co, Valco and Netco, all the power distribution company, some 1.2 billion cities as at March 1. Chairman of Gridco Workers Association revealed outstanding debt to Gridco stood at 607 million cities and another 94 million cities, while Valco owed it 32 million cities. Netco's debt stood at 177 million cities. As at September 30, 2019, government owes another 250 million cities. It is immoral for institutions to owe you such a huge sums of money and your financiers will be chasing you for the service of loans which we keep defaulting at a cost. From Friday 22nd November, staff will treat all emergencies work as normal work within the normal working hours. However, the Ministry of Energy says it has no comment on the development at Gridco. Well, so from the way things are happening, if nothing is done before December 4, we may be sleeping in darkness, and that's something you don't want to hear. I've been joined in studio by Rafael Connor, who is the chair, chairman of the Senior Staff Association of Gridco. What's going on? Thank you. Good evening. And, you know, as always, grateful for your time this evening. First of all, let, let's establish this. Any responses after that press conference we just showed yesterday? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Alfred, for, your, for the opportunity. Uh, I must say that uh, our management and the board called for an emergency meeting today. And uh, we ended somewhere around some few minutes after three. I see. And what was the meeting about? What's the outcome of the meeting? Has it given any positive indications? Well, they were much concerned about the instructions we have issued. And uh, we see it as one of the normal meetings we've been having because these issues have been there for quite some time and we've been talking about it. So we see it as a normal meeting. A and normal meeting? Yes. Meaning that there wasn't any attempt to, to talk you out of this decision, or the, the deadline, December 4th, and what you intend to do if nothing is done? Well, they, might, they were concerned about the instructions we have issued, and uh, they want to understand the meaning of some of the words we use there and mm -hmm. the impact it's going to have on the... For example? Uh, um, the... Refusal to attend to emergencies, emergencies. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to understand what we meant by emergencies. And we stated it clearly that uh, uh, emergencies are unforeseen uh, events that uh, happens. So for us, uh, I mean, in our status, we also have what we call emergencies. So um, we, we think that uh, um, um, emergencies are emergencies. They I are see. unplanned. Activities. activities and these include if there are any technical issues what you're not going to attend to them I mean if it should happen yes we do but it depends on the time at which it happened because um, emergencies can happen within normal working hours so uh, by December 4 if you don't hear anything this is what you're going to be doing but I recall that in the early part of this year the president met you um, when you raised those issues and actually give a directive to the finance ministry to pay some monies, right? Exactly. Not we as a staff group, but man they met our management. I see. Yes. And was that money paid? No. That directive by the president was not fulfilled? Was not fulfilled. Six months down the lane. How much exactly is this quantum of debt we're talking about? Well, as we stated in our press uh, release, uh, Valco owes us $32 million uh, dollars, US dollars, uh, ECG owes 607 million as at March, plus the recent accumulated one of uh, uh, 94 million prior to the exit of PDS. I and see. And NEDCO has about 177 million Ghana cities. 177 million. Yes. And you indicated yesterday at the press conference that PDS made attempts to actually pay some, 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 some of the debts, right? Um, not the debt per se. Actually, what happened was that uh, 
when PDS came, we, we've seen an enhanced payment compared to what ECG was doing. And, and what, what, what accounted for this? I mean, wh how come like PDS could pay and ECG is not being able to pay now? That is what beat our imagination. And that is why we are seeking answers as to what magic wand has PDS performed that ECG is not able to do that. Do you know? Do you have any suspicions? We don't. Why? We don't. We don't. And uh, after ECG took over like two, three months now, have they made any attempts to pay, giving you any checks or try to make any payments of the, these, these monies? Yeah, they made, pay, they made some payments, but not to the uh, level that we were expecting. And also, uh, recently, just about a week ago, they issued two checks and all bounced. The two checks, the issues bounced? Yes, yes, yes. It bounced. ECG? Yes, it bounced. And they have to, our authorities have to call the attention to it. I understand they have issued another check as to whether it has been cleared. We are yet to find out. I see. So what do you intend to do now? I mean, after the management meeting today, it appears you say it was a normal meeting, nothing concrete. So what next? Well, uh, as we said, the instructions we've issued still stands. And um, as we indicated in the uh, press release, uh, today is the effective date for the withdrawal of emergency services, which we said, well, when it happened within normal working hours, we will attend to it. But if it goes beyond the normal working hours, it means that uh, we have to attend normal to it. Normal working hours, what, 8 to 5? 8 to 4. 8 to 4. Yes. After 4 p.m., anything that happens? Yes, after 4 p.m., we go home, so we will we, we'll be with our wives. And we, and, and, and we will suffer the, 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 the repercussions or the implications of, of any emergency? Oh, not really. We are dealing with an institution, ECG. And so for us, we don't know who supplies you here. If it's ECG, fine. Then you, you ask ECG when you don't have power. And you'll be with your wives? Well, for us, uh, we are supposed to work eight hours a, a day for the labor law. Mr. Gwono, I, I want to thank you so much. I'm, I'm just hoping that I will keep knocking on the doors of the uh, e e energy ministry. Today we went there. They didn't have any answers for us. Um, the finance ministry will we'll try to get some answers to this. But thank you so much. Thank you for, very for much for your time. time. And, and uh, what we did now is uh, action, not words. Action, yes, not words. Yes. Thank you. Rafael Kono is a chair, chairman of the Senior Staff Association of Great Co. That's a Ghana great company uh, talking to us this evening.